about to play DK versus versus Duck Hunt? Wait, Crazy. It's Jordan, right? It's Jordan. Okay. Yes. It's, you got the names right. This guy actually just said, nah, bro. I'm actually not playing DK versus Duck Hunt. I, I made it this far. I I'm I'm not going to play that match, man. We both zoning now. Today we are both zoners. <laughs> Today we are both zoners. That is very true. So I wonder, uh, I think, I think he's got a ration these, but his side B, the Wonder Wing, yes, that. It, it should go through uh, Duck Hunt stuff. Right? That's yeah. That's the crazy thing about Wondering too is even though you only have five uses of it specifically, it's a really good like burst in option, or I wouldn't even say burst in. It's just a really good option to kind of break through the neutral or break through the mold that your opponent can have. Of course, its cooldown is pretty big, so that's something you have to take into consideration. But for being able to go through a lot of Dug Hunt moves, specifically when you're coming for a recovery, it's really big for Danjo. Well, he's already used three of them. Oh, well, I guess yeah. it doesn't matter because he, he's already on his next stock. Yeah, he got uh, a fresh now. Uh, 58 is kind of rough. Honestly, right now, Jordan is really having a hard time utilizing his projectiles effectively because he's just kind of getting stuffed out by Duck Hunt's projectiles. Oh, my God. He's crazy going for that. He's fine, though. That was a great tech uh, cake, by the way. I would not tech that, but let me just do it again. Yeah, Wonder Wing's gonna be crucial in this match. <laughs> he, he needs to get through the wall of projectiles somehow, and also having a move that has armor he can kill is, is good for him. Yeah, there are a few setups that specifically Banjo and Kazooie can do. can actually set up into Wonder Wing. It's all a matter of how Jordan can actually pull it off here. So far, what we're seeing Jordan go for is kind of a lot play, where we're seeing most of the payoff being within projectiles here. But finally, Kate gets the double side special here into the upper. That's something that we've definitely seen from a few Duck Hunt Yeah, ever since, you know, the game came out, saw that setup, but it's really strong. Nintendo, I believe, is definitely one of the players I remember seeing him do that. Yeah, Clay Pigeon uh, is very good in this game for combos. Yeah, Cake is actually just playing like textbook solid duck hunt. Like, he always has the can active, staying behind it. I mean, he says very consistently. I, again, I, he unfortunately he doesn't get his up air to work correctly. Sakurai, please. But uh, <laughs> that that clay vision setup is very consistent for him. I don't think he's dropped it so far. Let me just get this crazy. <laughs> but he actually just poured air through everything. Like he didn't even care about the can or anything. That was like, pretty funny to see. But uh, he's still got to put in some work here. I think Cake has a very commanding lead right now. Yeah. And uh, Jordan just ha hasn't really found the answer to get in on Duck Hunt. And, and if you can't find that answer, you're going to struggle versus character with yeah. with most people that you use. That's but especially the Banjo. Yeah, and like you said, it, it's all oh, I was going to say. Really good on Smack. Get off me. Damn, that move is strong as hell. It, it killed heavy banjo like nothing. <laughs> it really did. Uh, but like you said, right, the, the name of the game here is finding the answer to get around Duck Hunt Dock. And the way that Cake was specifically playing, like you said, it is a matter of using Ken to kind of like quickly hide behind and then look and see how Banjo is going to play those options. Out. It's it's all on Jordan to get in. Kind of one of the things I kind of wanted to see a little bit more was more of Grenade simply because like it is a tool that you can use to kind of like very similar to young link or link you can kind of force your opponent to hold shield or to pick an option such as jumping out but also you can also go for aerial eggs which is really good in the same way that we see mario and dr mario we saw earlier on the stream uh forcing the opponent to hold shield to get in all of this revolves revolves around you having a game plan to kind of keep that dog in space in space in place while you find an opportunity to push in Oh, DK's out though. The main's out. Yeah, he's he's taking a page from from Chunky Kong. He says, you know what? If he can be aggressive, I can be aggressive too. We'll see how it goes though. Cake has no slouch. He's been playing that zoning game really well. Yeah, and uh, you can already see from the way he approached the banjo matchup, he he knows his setups very well, and uh, they're just going to be even uh, more consistent on DK. I'm really curious to see what Jordan's gonna do to take this game. This is still best two out of three territory, so he's 
facing elimination if he can't win this. Well, it is facing elimination. Oh. Trying to use these platforms effectively. Uh, not at the window, though, for that to be true. Excellent oh, patience there. Oh, he didn't even need the double. Wow, that was nice. You know, I always forget Duck Hunt has that setup, but it always blows my mind every time I see it. And that's what's crazy about this character in Ultimate. He has confirms off the Clay Pigeon, from Clay Pigeon to Clay Pigeon to Clay Pigeon to Down Air, and starting for stage positions. Good stuff on Kate to go for that extra low recovery, though. He yep. knows he can survive Great that. Good. He didn't even need to have his can to protect him on his up either. That was just really good movement off stage. Uh, this is really rough right now. Okay, great. Great up so He needed to take the stock because he's just taking so much chip damage trying to hit Duck Hunt. Oh, nice setup into the up air. Cake's playing very well. Yeah, we're fine with that. Ain't yeah, you no know, waste the, the charge punch and you take some damage from the can. Yeah, Cake is... Uh, in a really good spot. I like that get up attack though. Yeah, sends back the can at the same time there. Can right back into play though. Really tough spot for Gordon. Ooh, that setup covered so many options. Oh, yep, the gunman also kills eventually. <laughs> so many things you have to look out for, and it's just very, very hard as DK. Just because he's so big and his uh, neutral's not the best. Oh, what a call. Oh what my call goodness. Out. Let me just jump right in his face though. And that's good for, for Jordan, just because he knows he gets armor, and it's just a call it on the projectile there, because he's able to armor it through. Kind of goes back yeah. to what I said about Banjo, too. Look at that armor once again. Yeah, he needed that. He got so much percent. Oh. Oh, Jordan oh can no. turn things around here if he gets the right reads. Yeah, he can't drop his follow-ups like that, though. He needs every hit he can take at this point. Nice. Waiting for the can assist. Excellent MP help, just because he wanted to see if Jordan was going to commit to it as well. Back at the ledge again, but he's got to watch out for the can, yeah? Then he reaches the top platform. Nice. Oh, yeah, using that. Once again. Yeah, using that armor really effectively on the, the charge punch. Oh. Oh, no, the affair. How does DK even fall out of that? The gunman okay. is able to actually watch armor out. through that. No, I'm sorry, not armor, just take it all. Watch out for that can. Okay. He's actually playing around the can very intelligently right now, but he needs to make these hits happen. Oh, what a catch. he just did it. What a catch. He just did it. He didn't even get the, the confirm. He just, he just went for it. What a catch. That's all I'm saying, man. What a catch. He's Damn. Saying, I just think, I think Cake just didn't expect the up smash to hit on the ground like that. Like, I think he just thought like, well, I didn't get hit by the down B. I'm I'm safe. You can't you know confirm kill me right now. But yeah. he, he just threw it out. He just didn't care. <laughs> and, you know it's smart though from Jordan just because if you look at the situation as a whole, there was no can anywhere near Jordan. He didn't have to worry about any other option. And at that situation, Kate had already committed to going for a jump out. Of, I'm sorry, getting out of the ledge with no clay pigeon. If he had gone for a jump, that would have definitely told Jordan like, hold the phone, man. <laughs> like, that might have been a poor option just because you're about to get Clay Pigeon, but... Yeah, Cake just kind of committed to a new, uh, regular getup in that last situation. Pushing game three here. Of course, for those of you guys wondering, top 64 in this scenario is only best of three, so... This is the last match here. Yep. Really huge comeback for, for Jordan, man. Especially, you know, playing a matchup like this. I really do like, though, how he was able to get in a lot more after his, uh, using that armor of the charge punch. Definitely applying a lot of fear as well to Kate because he's like, oh man, he has this super strong move that he's just like ignoring all my stuff with. If I, if I screw up my spacing, uh, I'm gonna get blown up by this. That's exactly the situation here. It's just being able to armor through and make a call out even on my spacing. It goes back to what I said about how the matchup could have been with Banjo in Jordan's hands, but we're seeing how DK plays well. Him. Unfortunately, getting caught right before the armor gets even the start of things. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> this counter pick is, the DKs are loving this stage today. I'm like, why are you guys taking them to PS2, man? You guys gotta stop. They're just probably thinking like, it won't happen to me. Oh, I, Jordan's I, going off. Yeah, he just went for it again. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. I'll take another stock with this Sting Dog. 
in, in all reality, they only need to do that confirm one time to get enough momentum to push so much more oh. fear into your heart. Look at that, almost with the rolling. Yeah, he should have down smashed there. It would have caught easily. But uh, Jordan is running with this momentum right now. Uh, even the projectiles that Cake is, you know, hitting are not leading to any kills. And he's, he's out of here, another one, dude. You destroyed the can with it as well? That was just crazy. Jordan, you should have just went DK first game, man. <laughs> oh, what a call out. What a call out. He reads the Oh, he my reads. gosh. Okay, he's finally dead from the can. It's not over. If, if K can play his zoning game, he can rack up so much safe percent. DK is just a perfect size for a duck hunt to get so much damage. Right now, though, you gotta be careful with the spots he's using, uh, the clay pigeon and the gunman, because those moves actually are very laggy. If they whiff, DK gets a free punish. Yeah, oh, it's outside of the range of that. And as we've seen, warfare. even if you, even if they don't whiff, if it's enough for Jordan to come in their close range and armor through it, that's a big punish indeed. Yep. Oh my God! Almost getting the down smash. Going for all the hard reads right now. Playing very confident because he knows he's one stock away. Moving on here. What a oh, there it is what again. A call out. He he got caught in the lag of his projectile, and Jordan just said, "I, I don't care what you're doing right now. Let me just punch you in the face." <laughs> the games. Could have said it better myself. Good games.